The Virtual TI-83 is for PCs as opposed to Macintosh computers. To download the Virtual TI-83, click on the Virtual TI-83 tab on the left-hand navigation bar. Next, click on the link, which is in blue. The Virtual TI-83 zip file will download to your computer. Once the Virtual TI-83 zip file has downloaded, you'll be able to find it under Downloads. The zip file is named vti underscore full dot zip. You can either leave the zip file in your Downloads folder, or you can bring it to the desktop. By double-clicking on the VTI folder, you can then choose the Extract All feature. Just simply click Extract. And you will now be looking at the VTI underscore full folder, which was in the zip folder. Again, you can leave this in the Downloads folder, or if you like, you can bring it to the desktop. Double-clicking on the VTI underscore full folder opens that folder. Go to the file vti.exe, right-click, and select Send to Desktop Create Shortcut. You can now close all of the windows, and you should be able to find the shortcut on the desktop. Clicking the shortcut will launch the virtual TI-83. This calculator can be resized by bringing your cursor to the edge of the calculator, then simply clicking and dragging to make it smaller and larger. One thing I highly recommend, with the cursor on the calculator, right-click and go to Emulation Options. Under Emulation Options, select the option Stay on Top. This will allow the TI-83 to be visible when you're working on different problems and you click on the web page to input an answer. When you're finished using the TI-83, you can right-click and exit saving or without saving the state that the calculator was in. If you click and drag the shortcut to the taskbar, you'll be able to quickly click on the virtual TI-83 shortcut on the taskbar which sometimes make accessing the virtual TI a little bit easier. For instruction in using the TI-83 for your assignments, I highly recommend clicking and downloading the TI-83 notes found on the left-hand navigation bar.